Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. There will be two versions of this recording, one with, one without music. The one with music will be, the music will be composed by Kevin MacLeod and the link to his website and the copyright information will be in the description of the podcast. Now... If you haven't already done so, maybe you'd consider subscribing to this podcast. Maybe you leave a message and uh, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter or wherever. So maybe others can benefit. Now, I'd like you to get yourself in a comfortable position. Uh, What I mean by that is you can lay down on your bed or you can sit in a chair, but this is going to be a relaxation and sleep session. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be probably better to lie down if you're able to. If you do decide to sit in a chair, Make sure, first of all, it's very comfortable, ideally with a back, you know, a a back so it supports you, and also sides so that you don't fall out of the chair if you just fall asleep. If you have something to do that you need to do in an hour's time or something like that, then I suggest you set your alarm to wake you up because I realise not everybody's going to be listening to this specifically to be going to sleep but maybe to enjoy the the relaxation and to have a nap maybe with the music the recording will last about 51 minutes So, that's about all I've got to say before I start. So I'd like you to get comfortable. And just get in touch with how you're feeling. Not just physically, but emotionally. Ultimately, the way that you're thinking is going to have a bigger impact on how you physically feel. And I realize it may also seem the other way. For example, tension in the body can be distressing. So, for example, if I'm lying in bed and, you know, just lying down for the first time, you know, during a recording, not for the first time ever, obviously, and I have tension maybe in my lower back, and maybe my lower back's hurting. So, my mind, in my mind, I could be thinking this is horrible, I don't like this, and my lower back's hurting, and it's going to continue to hurt, and it's going to continue to get stressed, and, you know, things like that. Now, that's natural to do that, so I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that it's wrong, what I'm saying is not useful. And you don't have to do that. It's 
So what you could do to start with is focus on a part of you that does feel relaxed. And then come back to the part of you that wasn't relaxed before. And say to yourself that even though it may feel uncomfortable at the moment, it will start to relax and you will start to feel more comfortable in that part of your body. You will start to relax and you're guaranteed to feel more comfortable in that part of your body. And that you expect not just that part of your body to feel relaxed, but the whole of your body, every part to feel relaxed. And then you can focus on another part of your body that, you know, as you do a scan through the different parts, maybe you notice that your legs are relaxed. Maybe they're heavy, almost as if they're melting into the bed. And as you focus on your legs, heavy and melting into your bed, you can focus your attention on your face and just noticing how your face feels. How your eyes, your jaw, your mouth, tongue, your forehead, your scalp, your ears, your throat, the back of your neck, just how that whole general area feels as it's now supported, not by your neck, but by the pillow or the cushion or whatever you're resting your head on. So the pressure has been taken off of your neck. And when you think about it, your neck really does do a tremendous job for you. Because the head is not light. You know, it's a heavy old thing. And your neck supports it. just shows how strong all of our necks really are. It's not just bodybuilders and weightlifters that have strong necks. Even babies have strong necks. We all have strong necks. In fact, you think of a toddler when their head is nearly as big as their entire body. It shows how strong our necks are pretty much from the day we're born. And it's such a precious part of the body because that's what connects the brain to the spinal cord and then the spinal cord all the way down. into your body, all the way down, your back, the neck, what contains your ability to talk, the neck allows you to breathe, allows you to eat, swallow food, it's an amazing thing. So when your head is being supported, 
your neck can really relax. Really, really relax because it's earned the right to relax deeply. Because of all the amazing work it's done. Not just since it last relaxed. But throughout your whole life. Because as you start to actually. Show appreciation towards the different parts of your body. In a way that you may not have done before. It almost changes the way that those parts of your body respond in a real, really positive way as your neck actually appreciates and enjoys this time to, to let go. Really, really let go. Allowing all the muscles to almost just melt and relax so deeply. And as the muscles in your neck continue to relax, you can feel that sensation moving up the back of your head into your scalp and even though your scalp isn't really made of muscles it almost feels like your scalp is really starting to melt and relax deeply And it's a different type of relaxation. It's just a letting go. It's an appreciation of what your scalp does for you. It protects your brain. Your scalp protects your brain and has done from the second You were born, in fact, before you were even born, your scalp was protecting your brain. You didn't need your throat to support, to give you oxygen or food when you was in the womb. You were floating, so you didn't need your neck to support your head. Because you was inside water. But your scalp protected brain and has done ever since and as we all know the brain is the most important part of our bodies the most important So you can just, if you choose, get in touch with that sense of gratitude towards your scalp. You know, that hard surface underneath the skin. Uh, where your hair is or where your hair hair used to be maybe a little bit of both for me that part that shapes your head is almost well is literally invisible other than the shape yet so important as a shield of protection to you. Just as your ribs protect your lungs. You 
got your chest bone, it protects your heart. You've got your spine that protects the spinal cord. Your body really is an amazing thing. With all this protection. Maybe I know that I don't recognize all the time how amazing the body is and all that it does for me. So in a way, when you lay down and relax, you're saying thank you to your body. You're almost clapping your body. You're thanking your body for everything it does for you. You're supporting your body. And as you feel those sensations of heaviness and that melting sensation moving into your shoulders and of course there's the muscles in your shoulders and your your arms your wrists and your hands and fingers, there's also a lot of bones as well, there's a lot of connections, your shoulders and your arms connected, also the nerves, so it's a lot, it's a big complicated operation that we don't have to do anything about. We're not involved in it. It all happens naturally for you. So allowing your shoulders and your arms and your hands and fingers To be appreciated, to be allowed to melt deeply and let go completely. It just seems like a nice thing to do. And with your chest and your stomach, with the feeling of your chest and the muscles in your chest that really have such a big importance in how you do things. as well as protecting your internal organs as well. So your chest is there and the muscles or whatever's contained in your chest area protects your internal organs. And it helps to protect you, to keep you physically strong, 
to support and balance your body in the same way as your stomach, the muscles in your stomach are so important so many simple physical acts such as bending over or turning or walking all kinds of things stretching because regardless of what type of belly you have what type of stomach whether you're slim or whether you're like me and not slim, the simple fact is you've got extremely strong stomach muscles. We all have. You don't have to have a six pack to prove that you've got muscles in your stomach. All you need to do is stand up or sit up or turn your body or hold something in your arms because you're using your stomach muscles for pretty much any physical activity that you do. So you can allow your chest and your stomach muscles to just melt and just as you appreciate how important these parts of your body are. You can really Allow those muscles and the nerves and the skin and every fiber of those body parts to just melt and let go. Remembering that your stomach muscles also protects your internal organs just as your ribs also do that for your organs a bit higher up your body is amazing and deserves to feel completely relaxed and to rest deeply, sleepy, calmly, letting go. And now as we look at your back, that large area and the bottom of your neck, the back of your neck, the bottom there moving, spreading towards your shoulders, moving down, all the way down to your hips. And of course the back, just like the stomach, so much such an important part of your body and it has protection again it's really really deserves to have your love And to feel that appreciation for everything that your back does for you. Be 
because practically anything you do physically will involve a part of your back. So your back too needs a time of deep, deep relaxation and sleep. Your back needs this. Your spine needs this. Time, not just to regenerate and to heal, just to rest, just to melt and to let go. The same is for your hips, a whole area of your hips, that part of your body between your upper body joining to your lower legs, you know, and your feet and your toes, the part that just does so much, you've got your buttocks, you've got your groin, you've got your, your legs, you know, the whole area, your hips, so for walking, for turning, for standing, uh, for going to the toilet, all that stuff is all within your hips, that area between your lower back and where your legs, your thighs start. And again, it's protected by all the bones that protect your hips protect all those parts of your body that you need. And you can allow that part of your body to just melt just melt deeply relaxed letting go letting go and sleep in And sleeping as we now lastly focus on your legs, your thighs, knees, calf muscles and shins, your ankles and your feet and your toes. Obviously, these parts are very important for walking and any other physical activity that I guess requires your feet or, or legs, swimming, driving, cycling, all those kinds of things. just like the other parts of our body it's quite easy to take them for granted because they're going to do everything we need of them regardless of whether we show appreciation or not the one benefit from showing appreciation is that they can then relax deeper by showing 
your appreciation just by thinking it. You don't have to do anything. In fact, just showing your appreciation just by lying down, by listening to this recording, focusing on my voice and noticing how your legs and the feet and toes are just melting more deeply melting more deeply letting go really letting go And lastly, as you focus on your face, your forehead, your eyes and your jaw, noticing how they continue to melt, relax and become even more sleepy. You can allow your focus to go and aim at your brain. As you focus on your head, moving through your scalp, deep into your brain and just allowing your brain to feel appreciated for everything that your brain does because your brain literally does everything for you. Your brain is the reason that you're breathing. Your brain is the reason that your heart is pumping. Your brain is the reason that you can hear my words. It's all because of the brain. Because of your brain. Because of how amazing your brain is. And by just acknowledging that, and by showing your appreciation by relaxing so deeply and feeling so sleepy, your brain relaxes. <laughs> 